listeners, welcome to another episode. Remember in the last episode we talked about structural stability and that's with everything that we build. You need a base or a foundation for any of this and the reason being is we want to make sure that it doesn't implode. So that's the most important thing. So with that, let's look at a couple of our projects that we've built this year. That just shows you right there that uh, I didn't get the papers back up there, so that was unstable. So, remember, the first thing we built was a telephone stand. So we needed pieces or components. Of that, you have your base. This is your base. This is your upright. Why do we need the base? Remember, if we want it to be structural, have structural stability, it's going to be able to stand up on its own. So if I take the top piece and I don't have a base to hold it up, what's going to happen? It's going to fall over. So we have to have a base, and that base has to be stable enough to hold with what, what we're doing. What did we design this for? We engineered and designed this to hold a cell phone. Hence the angle. And if you notice, the weight is pressing back that goes over the base. So those are the two big components. The third one is the finished product. You have your base, your upright, and your supports. Now, we know that the function of this is to hold a cell phone, but we also want to make sure that it's strong enough to hold different types of cell phones because of the difference in weight. So that's why the design is like that. So let's look at what are the other projects we did this year. We built a clock. Again, you have a base and you have your upright. What's the function of the clock? Function of the clock is to tell time and to stand up straight. So if I put this up here like this without the base and I touch it, it falls over. So we have to have the base so when we mount it on the base, the base keeps it solid. With both these projects, the thing that you have to remember is we talked about the base. Now we're going to talk about the foundation. For this to work, we have to have a foundation for it to sit on. So that foundation has to be flat and level. So that sits like that. Okay, so now we know this is stable. We have the stability. But say we put it on the edge like this, what's going to happen if we don't have a stable base or foundation? It's going to fall off the table. So that's why structural stability is important. I'll be right back. Okay, let's look at a couple of examples of things that aren't structurally stable. Look at this bookshelf. As you can see, there's too much of a span across, so with the weight of the books, it's pushing it down. Here's another one, stacking it on top of the table. It's hard to see in the picture, but the table is actually cracked in the middle because there's no support. So what they did is they stacked cans of uh, fruit underneath with a book to hold it in place. So, different, a couple different things. Let's talk about stability. Right here you can see this is an arched bridge. This is an old arched bridge, hundreds and hundreds of years old. Why is this still so stable? The arch, which first pretty much came out in uh, the Roman times, was something that they came out with and still today it is part of modern construction. Think about this. Airplanes and submarines, what shape are they? Airplanes and submarines are round. They have the spines in here and they have the ribs across just like in the human body. Why is this important? Here's the question for you. Why do big jumbo jets and submarines need to be round? They have to be round because it's one of the strongest structures. Remember the arch on the bridge and how strong that is. With that, with a submarine or an airplane, what can happen if the pressure is too great? It can implode. But if you have a circle around here, even with high pressure on the outside, the pressure is all the way around, the circle is stronger. So we're going to go through and look in the next episode some different construction techniques for building a house and what you need for a foundation and a base to make that work. I'll see you in the shop.